Hey, Kevin, what are you looking at? Well, this is the quick disconnect torch off that Aesop Cutmaster 60i I've been playing with. And I got a question the other day. When you're making a plasma cut, can you go too fast? What happens? What happens if you go too slow? You know, how do you judge what's the correct speed for cutting? So there's a couple of things you really want to keep in mind when you're using a plasma cutter. And one, of course, is just to make sure you're up off your metal the way you're supposed to be. You know, about an eighth of an inch or so. That's a, about a good height to start with. And then as you start moving along and making your cut, you're going to be watching for sparks that are coming out along the top of the metal. And you're also going to be trying to watch the arc that's below the metal. Okay, so you're looking at this piece of half inch plate, head on basically, and I'm just going to start on this side and make a cut across. And the first thing I'm going to do is go too fast with it. And you're going to want to look for the arc that's coming out of the bottom. It's not going to be coming straight out of the bottom. It's actually going to be bending back this way because I'm going too fast. If I slow down and let the arc catch up, Okay, so as I was cutting, you could see the way that arc was sitting there and just working back like this as I was going too fast. It didn't have enough of a chance to cut all the way through. The minute I slowed down, that arc just straightened right back out again, and I can move along a little bit slower and it stay relatively straight. Speed up again and you see it just bend right back out of the way. What you're going to get out of that is when you get that arc way back behind you, is you're just going to get a ragged cut. It's just going to look awful when you're done. And the other thing I want to show you is when you're cutting really, really too fast is sparks will actually come out of the top of the metal. And that means you're not cutting all the way through to the bottom. You're just making a gouge, basically. So let me turn the machine back on and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm sure you guys got a good light show out of that. All the sparks coming up and out that way. Very, very little actually going down under the metal. Here's where I just cut. Never came through the other side. So that's just a couple little things you can look for. If you're going, you know, are you going fast enough? Are you going slow enough? You know, try to judge your speed to be able to get a good, decent cut out of it. So I hope that answers your question. And don't forget to reach down and hit that subscribe button for me. And I'll see you next time. You know, for a bad example, it's actually a pretty good cut.